Let me uh, take you to a piece of audio. George Takai, who is a, he is Sulu, and I've disagreed with almost everything George Takai has ever said or written. He's the guy who last week said, you know, in the United Federation of Planets, uh, we had universal health care. That was a TV show, man. He's he's extraordinarily liberal and kind of a nasty guy, I think. However, when this story came out about him, what it was is, a, I guess it was 30 years ago, 20 or 30 years ago, he apparently took this young model that he met in a bar to his house and then... The charge is he gave him some sort of drink that drugged him. When he woke up, George was pulling down his pants and, uh, you know, being, uh, you know, wildly inappropriate. And the guy w- wakes up. And he's like, what are you doing? He's like, just relax, man. And he's like, no, no. He pulls his pants up and George is like, well, fine. You've missed the greatest night of your life. Uh, and uh, so he's the, the model said, hey, this happened. And, you know, George Takai did this to me. George came out on Twitter and he was big time, you know, offended. This is heartbreaking to me that anyone would say that because of the way I, I stand on these issues, et cetera, et cetera. And I kind of felt bad for him. I thought, I wonder if this is the first guy to be taken down who hasn't done it. And then this surfaces. Listen to George Takai recently on the Howard Stern show talking about Harvey Weinstein. The irony is uh, we have a man in the White House who talked about grabbing it's- There is an irony about all of this, is there not, George? Well, it's a repetition, you know, because all your years involved with you never gr- hassled anybody or grabbed never- their Yeah. Did you ever grab anyone by the their will? Uh-oh. <laughs> oh no. Well, they were different times. Or something? You never sexually harassed any um. <laughs> Have you? <laughs> oh my goodness you've got such a beautiful uh, uh it's it's some people that are kind of um um skittish right uh, or maybe um uh afraid and you're trying to persuade but you know geez. do we need to call the police what is, what, what is he saying <laughs> howard what are you saying george in other words they were taught but you never uh held a job over someone if they didn't no, Oh, I never did that. Oh, no, I see. No. What did you do? That's what this is all about. Work situations, though? It's about, it's not about sex. It's about power. Right. I see. It's about power. But you didn't do this grabbing at work. Oh, no, no. It wasn't uh, at work. Oh, okay. good. It was either <laughs> in my home. Oh, okay. They came to my home. <laughs> well, that was right. an open invitation. Doesn't change anything at doesn't all. Doesn't change anything <laughs> at all. It is the charge that he's now denying and saying he's so offended by that somebody he the charge is he brought him home. The guy was interested and the guy wasn't interested. He drug him. He was grabbing him in places at his home. Mm -hmm. That's you're now vehemently uh, uh, denying that and saying that that's hurtful to even say this was two months ago. You I mean, you just said this on Howard Stern. Yeah. Before that accusation came out, right. by the way. And can you imagine anybody saying, oh, well, I mean, I, you know, I'll have a girl over to the house, you know, and I'll grab her, you know, if she's if she's a little shy. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. No, I mean, you, you, that's obviously ridiculous. A couple extra points on this, too. First of all, how good is Howard Stern at this stuff? He is. He is the best. He is so He'll make you good. say things that you just don't even, you're, it's coming out of your mouth and you're like, what the hell am I doing telling Howard Stern this? <laughs> I have no idea. He is the, uh, he is he the is, ultimate interviewer. He is the best. Yep. And in addition to that, it is a little bit of a, un, uh, probably an unfair standard to go back and revisit every Howard Stern interview that a celebrity has given. It is a performance environment at some level. And I think you're right in that he's, kind of a it is sort of a confessional but it's like you go back and they try to do this with donald trump right like every they went back and they looked at every donald trump interview and it's like he said some untoward things but he was on the howard stern show disagree in this howard just makes it comfortable for you to say that obscene thing. things yes you know but i know you know being on the howard stern show there are things that I that I said that I was like, "What am I saying?" Yeah, but you're guarded, but and you're but you're even guarded. Yeah, but this think of this: if George Takai is really saying what he said over the weekend, I am a long term defender. I don't believe in any of this stuff. <laughs> I have been. I am on the forefront of the fight. You don't say that on Howard Stern. 
because it's against everything that he would believe. That's not a performance. Yeah. He's saying, no, I'm against if you're going to stop somebody having a job. But, I mean, you know, look, if I want to have sex and, and I think that they're a little shy, sure. Well, n- no. No, George. No. I, I mean, I think this was, that was a real moment. And that's the real problem with going on Howard Stern is he gets you into those real moments.